The 19th century was a time of hardship, yet celebration. The Civil War began after President Abraham Lincoln was elected as our 16th president. The Civil War was when the North and the you South fought for slavery. The North wanted slavery abolished, which means they did not want slavery to be a part of the nation's everyday living anymore. The South, however, wanted slavery to be kept for agricultural and economic that? purposes. Since there was so much tension between the North and the South, cannons were eventually fired and a war began. Through a time period of hardship, the North won the Civil War. The country celebrated because slavery had been rid of. However, African Americans still faced many hardships after the war. Since their families and life had been revolved around working for no pay, the slaves that were freed had a very difficult time finding work to provide for their families. This time period would be the most challenging for African Americans because they were still looked down upon even after the war. However, through time, African Americans would eventually defeat the challenge and rise up to be freed from their old bondage. William Armstrong's book, Sounder, is the story of a young African American boy who struggles through difficulties as his father is arrested and his beloved dog, Sounder, is injured. The boy's father steals a ham to feed his starving family. A few days later, an angry sheriff and his deputies come to arrest the father. In an effort to protect his master, the family's coon dog, Sounder, races after the deputies who are taking his master away. Frightened and angry, the sheriffs injure Sounder. Sounder, injured and scared, runs into the woods. After his father's arrest, the boy looks for Sounder for weeks. To survive, his mother shells walnuts to provide for their family. The boy is stricken with loneliness as he tends to his siblings because he misses not only Sounder, but his father as well. The boy really wants to visit his father, so one day his mother makes him a cake to bring to the county jail. After being humiliated, teased, and treated cruelly by the officers, the boy finally gets to speak with his father. After an awkward conversation, his father asks the boy not to visit the jail anymore. One evening, the boy's family receives word that his father was convicted of stealing the ham and has been sentenced for hard labor. The boy resolves to search for his father, and for a period of months, he journeys around the country looking for convicts working. One day, the boy spots a group of convicts working, and he leans up against a fence to watch them looking for his father. A guard, watching, whacks the boy on his fingers with a piece of iron and tells him to leave. The boy runs to a nearby school to wash off his injury when he suddenly sees an old book in a trash can. The boy, never seeing a book before, carries the book with him everywhere until one day he meets a teacher who learns of his struggles. The teacher, being kind, tells the boy he can stay with him and learn to read. The boy's mother said that would just be fine. From there, the boy works in the fields and learns to read in the afternoons. One fall evening, the boy will encounter an event that will change his life forever. Will the boy ever see his father again? Will his dog, Sounder, ever be found? Read Sounder by William Armstrong to find out.